Okay, here we go. Part two on the monograms. Now I'm going to add a name to this monogram where I'm going to difference it out of this design here. So I'm going to select my font, type out example again, and change the color so you can see what's going on. Now I'm going to come down here and change that to Arial again. Then I will size that down to fit my monogram here. Then I can select my monogram and align and distribute. I can center it up that way on the horizontal or vertical, I mean, sorry. And then if I want to center it between, center it up on this piece here horizontally, I can take a box, is what I do, with my snapping on, and I can snap to this point and any one of these points here and then I can select my text and select that box and I can line that up horizontally and the the way I do that and the reason I select the text first and then the box is I always have mine on last selected so whatever the last object is I select that's what it'll the first object will align itself to anyway back to adding the name so now I have the the path here and then I have my name it's still a text now I'm gonna need to convert that to a path so I'm gonna go up path object to path now that's gonna be a group again of seven objects so I'm gonna go object ungroup now the only difference here between this one and the one we previously did is here I'm differencing these out and I want to make sure the centers don't fall out of these letters so on this one I would have to bridge a couple of these letters I'm not gonna worry about the exact size but I'm gonna throw in a rectangle here and I can I have it selected I can hold shift and select the A and I can line that up in the center of that A now I'm gonna select this rectangle and hit control D which is duplicate and drag this rectangle over here and lay it on this P and let it snap to this point here and then I can just arrow it up a couple times just to make sure it cuts all the way through that part now I select the rectangle and then select the P and I can go path difference same here I can select this rectangle and select this A and go path uh, where is it difference okay so now I've cut or bridged the A and the P so the centers don't fall out of them. Now the only other problem I see here, if I'm making this for myself, is this A is awful close to this X. So they're probably going to burn together or burn through right there. So what I would do, as you can see you have some kind of uneven spacing here. If you select all these letters, And you can come over here to your align and distribute tool and use this option right here make horizontal gaps between objects equal oops let me undo that I accidentally had the path selected too let me click off that now I select each letter and I'll do it right this time then select this ob this here make horizontal gaps between objects equal and it will space those out evenly and fix that problem there where the A and the X would have burnt through. That's kind of a little extra but definitely something you'd want to pay attention to when you're making a monogram like this using font. So now I can select all of these and go path union and then I can hold select hold shift and select the monogram to where they're both selected and now I can go path uh, difference I don't know why I'm having such a hard time finding a difference in the drop down menu but okay so that's how you add font to a monogram like this to difference it out so now that's all one path as you can see when you select a node editor the only thing left to do is edit a few nodes and that's ready to send and cut so that's the end of part two now part three I will move over here to this Superman logo.